What's up guys? Pyrostasis here, and we're going to be knocking out another one of the gem quests, which at the same time uh, will get us uh, another dungeon set up. I did buy a few new spells. Uh, unfortunately, I still don't quite have the skill to effectively use them. Uh, one of the main drawbacks with Majory is, unlike some of the other classes, where if you just get the new... Oh, come on. If you get the new weapon, um, you can just right away start using it. Well, with magic, yes, you can right away start using it, but until you get the perks that reduce the mana costs, um, you're really just going to be burning ridiculous amounts. Uh, like, like for instance, here, as you can see, that hardly uses any mana, but if I switch to Firebolt, that uses significantly more mana. So, um, once I get Destruction perk that uh, basically reduces the... Um, the mana cost of the spell for uh, novice, and then above that is uh, apprentice, a master, something along those lines. I don't know. There's a hierarchy, and once I get the hierarchy uh, busted out, then uh, I'll be able to start using some of the more advanced spells and doing a little bit more damage. And uh, apparently, with items and other stuff, you can actually get it to the point where um, they're, they're basically are free to cast. So that will eventually be my goal. Uh, I will be taking enchanting with this character. I'm not going to need any blacksmithing uh, because I won't be doing, obviously, any armor related stuff. But uh, I will be getting, I will be maxing out enchanting specifically for the ability to increase the, uh, the enchantments and, and get some really nice stuff. Anyways, we're coming out here to Yengvalid. I remember doing this last week sometime on the Orc, but I, I really don't remember remember the dungeon. I've done so many of them. I'm sure it'll kind of come back to me once I get inside. But we'll see. Well, what do we have here? Nice and, nice and warm and cozy feeling. Pretty sure there's casters and undead in here. Maybe a few vampires. Ooh, mana potion. Thank you. <clears throat> Definitely need me some of those. Yep, there's Draugr. Hopefully not a very nasty one. And I wasn't sure if dungeons scaled based on your level, but I'm pretty positive they do now. So the lower level you are, um, some of the dungeons are going to be significantly easier. Now, granted, the, the difficulty does scale, so a hard dungeon is still going to be hard, and an easy dungeon is still going to be easy. Um, and obviously, there will be a few that are absolutely impossible to get off me. I've got to upgrade that some. And it's starting to come back to me now what these are. Basically, from what I remember, there was a... Oh... No, 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 no. I don't want him to blow my high born ability yet. Potions. Gonna have to buy some more of those. Anyway, like I was saying, um, there was a. A, lay, a, a necromancer or a conjurer or something along those lines that hung out in Dawnstar and eventually got more or less banished. And once he was banished, um, he or she decided to come out to here and then more or less kidnapped and murdered the girls of the town and then turned them into more or less mindless ghosts. And that's uh, pretty much what's inhabiting uh, the dungeon here. So we're going to see lots of, uh, lots of ghosts. Now the cool thing about fire is obviously it keeps burning, but uh, targets that are on fire supposedly take more damage. So once I get secondary spells, I'll be lighting them on fire, and I'll be kind of juggling them. Alrighty. I believe there's a series of journals I can get in here, if I remember right. Yep. Take it. There we go. I find it amusing 
I have no idea what this quest is, but yet I am getting it tracked on my uh, on my quest tracker. All right, so this is a dead end. We're gonna want to head back the other direction. Wait, make sure I didn't miss the Baron Zaya. But uh, fire should do me pretty good in this dungeon since I believe everything is more or less frost related. There we go. Just trying to conserve a little bit of mana. Keep my carbon footprint low, pun intended. we got in here. Anything? Just got the feeling that these are doors. Alrighty. Yeah, I seem to recall that here in a minute, shit gets pretty nasty, or at least on my orc, these did. So, couldn't figure out why I couldn't go back up. Seem to remember some really nasty chain casting. Yeah, and there was like an atria. Uh, I think there was a one of those things that summons the big frost golems down here, if I remember right. I don't know. We'll see. starting to get into some named ones. Come on. Burn up. An undead barbecue. Alrighty. What do we have down here? One more journal to go. And the throne room. I believe this is where the gem is located. Behind the throne room, if I remember right. Oh, that, that didn't sound good. by that thing. Why are you damning me? You got a fucking frost spear stuck in your head by your master, and you're mad at me? Oh, whoa, where? Did he shoot the- Wow! Dude's like a mage sniper. You guys seeing that? Alright, I'm gonna try and nail him with my fire bolts. Dropping wards, the rat bastard. Oof. Whoops, wrong. Did I change the hotkey? Yep, sure did. Come on, highborn ability. Man, this is bringing back some ashram. Do it live! There we go. Man, that's bringing back some Asheron's Call flashbacks, man. I don't know if any of you guys have ever played that, but uh, that was pretty much exactly how the, uh, the casting combat went. You could actually dodge projectiles, archery, pretty much everything. Alrighty, another soul gem. What did that oh alteration. Like what did that increase? Um 
think it's back in here. Staff of Ownage. Oh, well, hello! Alrighty. And there's the gem we're looking for. And the fourth journal, which we'll go ahead and take. Now I'm wondering, you know, all these ghosts have equipment and such. You know, does he have to feed them too? Because I mean, if they've got, if they're wearing clothes, you know, I mean, there's no real reason to wear clothes other than just, you know, for decoration. Unless, you know, ghosts tend to get cold that I am not aware of. So I'm wondering if he has to feed them. Oh, sucks to be you, poor bastards. But your death is my gain. Except you guys don't really have anything worth a damn on you. Which is a bummer. Alrighty. So that's Youngvalid clear. And if I remember right, there is one more dungeon, like across the street. But there's also a, uh, I think there's a hunter around here that's got some really nice gems that I'm going to go try and find. And this, I believe, is the entrance where we all started at. I don't remember if I'm supposed to go left or right. Nope, not that way. This way. Anything I missed on these guys? I think I pretty much got everything. Got a little bit of room left. Oh well. And I think I think the hunter is down to the right. I don't remember if it was here. All of this, uh, a, lot, a lot of the stuff in Skyrim, like the world, I remember. But some of the stuff, you know, you don't remember. Was this on the left side, on the right side? Was this on this island, or was it another island? But I know there is a hunter around here somewhere. Yep, there he is. And this hunter has some pretty nice gems. I wasn't going to kill him originally, because uh, I wasn't sure if he was related to a quest. But after I posted my video of my orc cleaning him out and robbing him blind... Uh, somebody was nice enough to point out that he actually is uh, one of the Dark Brotherhood uh, questline guys, so killing him isn't really that big a deal. So if he gives me any shit, I'm burning him alive. <laughs> Didn't keep his dagger. There we go. Might as well race sneak though while we're here. Get some more uh, EXP and a couple of levels, maybe. Scroll of Hysteria. Now that just sounds cool. Oh, holy shit. I, like, walked over a bear trap. And I can't remember if there was something in the water here or not. Something tells me I would not be hanging out down here and getting hypothermia for nothing. Could have sworn there was something in here. We'll see. Maybe not. Uh, nope. 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 Yep, there we go. I don't think it's anything important, but, you know, every little bit helps, right? Thank God time stops when you're uh, opening chests, otherwise I might drown. A little bit more gold, that was worth it. Plus we got the skill up that kicked us over to level 7. We're going to keep bumping magic. And apprentice destruction. Half magic, yes. That's what we want. And that, I believe, will lower the cost of... Firebolt. I'm really hoping anyway. Before it used to take a shit ton of mana, let's see if this helps. Yep! Notice how I can cast significantly more of them, and that's just based off of the just that one little perk. And obviously as I get more gear, get some enchantments and such, then that's gonna get even better. 
Anyways, I'm not sure exactly. I think it's across the river, but I'm going to go ahead and hunt around for a few minutes. See if I can't um, find that other gem spot, and then we'll... Uh, We'll pick the video up there. Hope you guys are liking the series. If you do, please click that like button. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos, tips, tricks, and guides. And I'll catch you in the next clip.